The space weather may be quiet now, but we have back-to-back -back chances for some solar storming that could bring us some decent aurora. That story and more in the Shorty this week. The sun may be spotless and space weather may be quiet this week, but that doesn't mean nothing's going on. We have two coronal holes that are rotating into the Earth view right now, and they're sandwiching a remnant bright region, which, sorry to say, isn't doing all that much to boost the solar flux, so radio propagation continues to be poor on the Earth's day side. But these two regions will give us two chances for a solar storming here in the next week. Now, the first one of these regions will be rotating into the Earth's strike zone here around September 5th, and it's be sending us some fast wind that could bring us aurora down to high latitudes, probably not make it down to mid latitudes. But the second one that will come about three to five days later, that one has a much bigger chance, according to Stereo, has a much bigger chance of bringing us some aurora for a very short time, but it could actually reach down to mid latitudes. Switching to our solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating the hit from the fast wind coming from that first of two coronal holes, and it should hit us around midweek and possibly give us a chance for aurora. At high latitudes, NOAA is expecting unsettled to active conditions with a decent chance of a minor storm. Now, at mid latitudes, we're still only expecting unsettled conditions with about a 15% chance of active conditions, and then things will settle down here for a couple days and then around the 10th we could get another chance when that second pocket of fast wind from that second corona hole hits us. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is in the green when it comes to solar flares because we have a spotless sun. This makes you GPS operators very happy because we have no risk for radio blackouts right now, but it does mean the solar flux has dropped back below the 70s, so we are now back into poor radio propagation for amateur radio operators and emergency responders, and unfortunately this trend will continue easily over over the next week uh, because the sun continues to be spotless. However, we do see a bright region rotating into stereo view right now. So in the long view, in about maybe 10 days or so, if nothing emerges on the Earth facing sun, we could be seeing another bright region rotate into Earth view for you guys. So it'll boost the solar flux back up into maybe even marginal conditions. Now, also because we're dealing with a solar minimum sun, we do have the cosmic ray background penetrating into the upper atmosphere far more than normal. So all you frequent flyers and air crew that fly more than 800 hours annually and typically fly at high altitudes and high latitudes, you are now in marginal conditions for radiation dose, so please take this into consideration in your flight plans. So despite a spotless sun, there's a lot going on this week. We have two coronal holes that have rotated into Earth view, and that gives us two chances for some solar storming. The first one could start as early as tomorrow, right around midweek, and this could bring us aurora only down to about high latitudes, but it won't last very long. And then the second one could come back in about five days, and that one actually could bring us aurora chances down to mid latitudes, but again, for only a short little while. So aurora photographers, Keep your batteries charged and stay on your toes because these chances won't last all that long. Now, GPS operators, you guys have got to be extremely happy because we have no chance for radio blackouts with a completely spotless sun, so your reception on Earth's day side will be good. Now, just stay away from the Aurora and the Dawn Dust Terminators during the storming, and you should have some pretty decent reception all the way around. However, amateur radio operators and emergency responders, well, things aren't so great for you right now. We're dealing, of course, with the spotless sun, and that means that solar flux has tanked. And it doesn't look too good right now, even for the next week. But if we take the long view and we take a look at what stereo is showing us, then in about 10 days, in worst case scenario, we will have a new region that will be rotating into Earth view, and that could boost the solar flux back up and give us a little boost to propagation. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.